What's up guys? Welcome to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and sadly I have decided that I will no longer be able to film every single kiln unloading that I do. <laughs> This might be the last one ever. More likely, I just won't film everyone. I apologize, you can yell at me in the comments if you like. If enough people yell at me, then maybe I will, but I just, like literally from now until Christmas, if I filmed every single kill unloading, I'd be putting up a kill unloading like four times a week and there wouldn't be any other time for any other videos. And I think for the health of myself, for the health of you, for the health of ceramics in general and pottery and the growth of just the interest in handmade stuff, I think that I need to just tone it back on the kiln unloadings a little bit. So, that's what I'm gonna do. But, you get one final kiln unloading for now, and it's in that kiln right now. I don't even know what number it is. 36, 37, 35, 32? No, it's, no, I already did 32. I don't even know what's in there. Probably a lot of Minnesota mugs. That's like really the reason why also I'm not gonna continue to just do kill unloadings because I'm just gonna keep unloading the same stuff now from now until Christmas until, but exciting news, I'm gonna be at the Mall of America on December 8th throwing pots and selling pottery. So if you're from anywhere around Minnesota and you want us to come meet me, see me throw some pots, I'll have some pottery there for sale. Uh, I'll be at a store called Four Post. I'll link um, something in the description below for an event or something there. So that's super exciting. It's gonna be really fun. Throwing pots at the Mall of America. Bring my camera, vlog through the whole thing. It's gonna be dope. Dope. I'm tired, I've been in the studio for like six hours. Like, all those mugs. Probably 40 mugs I finished today. Powering through to get this kiln unloaded. Whew. All right. I gotta go get some coffee. Got our coffee. Oh, I wonder how old this mug is. Probably really old. Oh, I can feel my energy coming back. Just in time to unload the kiln. It's always nice to save the kiln unloading till you get the hard stuff done, because the kiln unloading is so exciting that it just, you know, you always wanna see what's next. So we have sold a ridiculous amount of these Minnesota ornaments. So I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to make a bunch more of these guys. Boom, 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 boom. Woo. We also gave them away on our Mocha Monkey page. We gave, we gave five of them away. But those all turned out great, except for a couple of them have glass in them. There, there you can look at these while I unload the rest. All right, here we got a big, nice big bowl platter thingy. I've literally had this bisque and sitting around for a while, so nice to get that done. There's a pine tree, pine tree with drips on the back. So that looks really nice. And then there's another dripper on the back with, this Minnesota has like snowflakes. I don't know if you can really see that. All right, you know what? I'm switching lenses. You tell me what you think. Ready, boom. 24 mil lens. Can't tell if it's better yet or not. Uh, but those turned out really nice. <laughs> okay, so then here, so I had one out of the last batch that really dripped super cool. Then I added a little water because I thought that green was kind of a little too drippy. And then it, so it went back to not really dripping that much. So. I don't know, I don't know what I think about that. Here's a yarn bowl, so the yarn bowl dripped, that dripped super great there. It also dripped right off here, right down to there, and then right off, which that's okay, that'll, it's kinda cool. There, that's that one dripped like exactly how I would want it to. How we doing? How you doing? I think, I think the reason that people think I am so excited all the time is because you guys see me unload so many kilns, which is the best part of the pottery process. It's so fun. That's a sweet one. Sweet bowl in that sea green with some sweet drips. Those are so nice. I love how the color of the clay kind of like gets really orangey right between the glaze and the rest of the pot. Ask me why that happens. I have no idea. Here's some Minnesota ornaments that uh, 
I had snowflakes underneath here. That was just kind of a tester. No idea if you can even really tell. Black, blue. These were inspired by, remember when Mary sent me those wine glasses? The Minnesota wine glass. Yep, no handle. Those turned out sweet. Here's just a, a dock lake scene. They kind of warped a little bit. I think I put those Minnesotas on when they were too wet. But there you go, that's a good one. Minnesota wine glass. Minnesota wine glass. Mm. All right, question for all of y'all. All of y'all. So these, so these Minnesota wine glasses, can you see that? It is not perfectly circle. It is like pretty warped, right? What do you think? Do you, th do you still sell it? Do you, does that bug people? Does that bug you? That one's not even that bad. I mean, this one's pretty bad. I don't know, if it's not perfectly circle, do you still sell it? Do you discount it? What do you do? All you potters out there, or all you customers, if you get a pot that's like super warped, are you like, oh man, it's not perfectly circle. Is it a little less aesthetically pleasing? All right, here's some more of those sweet textured mugs. Some of them are Minnesotas, some of them are just plain. So go check out that video. I did a how to turn clay into a textured mug. Those are those turned out really nicely. Some more of those textured Minnesota mugs. See, like, I just can't imagine. I mean, I'll still make new stuff and I'll still talk about it, but I just, I think for the growth of the channel and the growth of us all as potters, I gotta move on. I gotta move on from kiln unloadings. The kiln actually finished firing like a few days ago and I just haven't unloaded it because I haven't had the time. Some more of textured. That the feeling on your hands is just, I really like it. Some people probably hate it. They probably think it feels like sandpaper or something, but I like to be able to feel the clay, you know what I mean? Someone commented in, in one of my videos, that's a cool one with those trees, where I must, I said something about not liking pots that are just perfect circles anymore. And someone commented and they were like, I like when clay remembers that it was once soft. And I thought that was cool because like, yeah, I mean, obviously clay starts out soft and now it's in a form that's non-movable. But when you put like grooves in it or like indentations or make it not circle, it's like reminding people that clay is not always hard. Okay, so these are just, um, Probably 20 to 24 ounce mugs. There's a set of six or eight of them. People always ask for big mugs, you know? Like I make kind of medium 16 to 18 ounce mugs normally. And then people are like, oh, I really want a big mug. It's like, okay. Do you, need, do you need to drink that much coffee at a time? That's fine with me. I can do that. I mean, I don't think anybody drinks more coffee than me, but I like to drink them out of a small mug so it stays hot. Those are gorgeous. Here I just wrote the words MN in there. Did a little matte white. A little matte white. All right, and that's it. Bunch of mugs for you guys. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Canyon skies. That was a good one. Good load, good load. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Appreciate it so much. Update, studio is gonna be sweet. I still am not planning. I think that I won't be working in that studio for probably four or five months. So just stick with me. I'll vlog about the whole process. But anyway, I'm trying some really new fun stuff with slip and ugh, all the things. All right, well, you know what? It's about that time. I think this camera was like, just a little off center the whole video. So I'll have to go in and shoot, shoot, shoot. rotate it a little bit post production. That's it, guys. I'm beat. Gotta go home and take a nap. Well, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Comment, like, let me know what was your favorite piece that came out of this kiln. Comment below with any ideas for videos. I've made a few videos recently that kind of were from suggestions. So there's a lot of suggestions, though. And there's only so much, and it's only 24 hours in the day. But friends, I will see you in the next video.